Hello everyone, DJ Collectibles 99 here, and today I have another Hot Toys to show you. I am super excited. This is the Avengers Endgame Black Widow figure, and I am so excited. I haven't even taken her out of the box yet. I am super, super, super duper excited. So uh, I thought I'd start off with the box and just show you the amazing bar uh, box artwork, um, and then we will get her taken out. So starting off here, there is a gorgeous, gorgeous portrait of Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. And she is super, super cool. I love the whole shattering effect of the Avengers logo with it kind of like in front and behind her at the same time. And like, I love the whole, like it almost looks like she's like painted in a way. It's really, really cool. She's, um got a like it's like a whole like matte finish here but it's got like kind of like lumpy ridges here that make the Avengers logo and it's just really really cool and I love the whole like red galaxy effect um from what I've heard this whole end game line has different like colored backgrounds with the A to match the character which I think is really really cool um but yeah as you can see it has like this whole shattering effect and the whole um like galaxy type thing and then on the side here, um, this is a slip off cover over top of the box that shows the figure in a window. Um, and then we have the, uh, on the underside of the box here, a peak window that shows her black window, black widow symbol. Um, and then it says black widow on the side here, MM5533, which is her, um, basically her product number for Hot Toys. And then black widow right there with one six scale collectible figure and then it has like this nice like little design right here um in red and then it has the avengers logo which is super cool as well in a cutout window going to the back you can see i like the whole like cosmic thing in the back with a warning and more of the black widow um logos right there of course made by Mar um, made in partnership with marvel entertainment and then it's the very exact same on this side of the box. For the top of the box, um, it has this design and it says Black Widow and the same one six scale figure and the product number. And then you just simply slide off this cover to reveal Black Widow herself inside the, uh, nice and safely inside behind the um, plastic. So super awesome. And then you can see that when you do slide it off, it does have the Black Widow symbol right there too, which is super awesome. And then you can see there's a little design right there. And of course, from what you could see through the peep windows at the top and bottom, and on the back, it has the Avengers logo right there. And here are the very lovely people who made the Hot Toys Black Widow possible. With their hard work, they were able to do an outstanding job and create this incredible likeness and probably one of the best um, Black Widow figures out there right now. I mean, she's literally phenomenal and I really cannot wait to show you guys all the details that she has to offer. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, I have her out of the box now. And as you can see, I have her literally just standing the way that I took her out of the box, but I removed all the plastic um, that was like around her head and legs and feet, or not legs and feet, hands and feet. Um, and then there was like some plastic around the front that was just basically protecting her in box and stuff. Um, but before I can get to her, I will show you that she does come in, in um, with instructions right here. Um, I do strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you read every single part of these instructions because they will help um, keep your figure looking nice and new for a long time. So um, definitely follow those instructions because you really don't want to break her. Um, she's really pricey and it would just be really a shame if you accidentally broke a joint or if, um, you know, her outfit ripped or tour or something so just be very very careful with her because she is delicate um i'll tell you that the material is rubberized on her um on her suit just like spider-man's so it will tear um or be permanently indented in a weird way if you just leave her in a dynamic pose so i highly suggest you put her in a min at least um you know minimal pose or museum pose like this just to 
um, keep her nice and safe when you're not taking pictures of her and you have her on display. But starting with the accessories here, um, we have a uh, two of her uh, guns. I'm not sure what type of guns they are. I can't really remember, but um, they do have a like cock back. If I can do it with one hand, it's a little hard too. Yeah, just like that. So they cock back. Um, and this piece comes out to reveal the bullets at the bottom, but I cannot do that right now because I only have one hand. Um, and then she has three different sets of batons. The first one is um, basically you just put these in her backpack. So these are all like folded up. And um, so it just goes right here. You can literally just um, take the end of it and uh, pop it in. And once it's in, um, right there, that's how it looks. So it's really, really cool. And I'll leave those in there for the time being. But um, yeah, it looks really cool on her. I absolutely love those. And uh, they're nicely detailed. They're one flat color, but the sculpting is really great. And then there is this pair right here, which she can hold in two different hands. She has two different ones. And then um, this one is a long one that acts as if she connected them together. So it's just one long baton that she can hold and twirl around. Um, and you can see all like the details of that too, which are really nice if I can get it to focus. But yeah, that's really nice as well. Um, and then she comes with, um, basically eight eight hands. So she has um, four of each type of hand. The first one that she's actually wearing right now is relaxed. And then the um, second pair is both um, fists. And then right here are two of the um, same hands for each side. Um, they have, um, they, these ones are specifically for holding the batons or like the long baton. And then this one is for shooting her guns. And now um, they are not the same on both sides. As you can see, this has her spoiler alert if you um, haven't seen Avengers, but this is her time traveling button that is on her uh, wrist or on her um, hand. Um, so that's really cool. It's really nicely detailed. Really, really cool. I love that detail. Um, and then of course she comes with a extra, if you were wondering what this is, um, these go into the wrists so that you can pop the hands on and off if one were to break or uh, just be loose or anything, you can replace them here. Um, but she really does not come with um, many uh, accessories, but that is totally okay because one, she was cheaper, so I was able to get her um, easier. And um, she also had uh, that she just doesn't really have that many in the movie. So totally understandable for Black Widow. She's She doesn't need a whole lot of tech to kick some ass. <laughs> but um, here she is. Her last accessory is the base, which is super cool. It says Black Widow on the front. And then Avengers Endgame right there with the same type of A design like on the box that we saw except this is like a nice gloss right here, while this is like a matte, stiff finish. So um, that's really cool, really nice. Be careful of the finish. You don't want to scratch it because they do easily scratch when it's um, shiny like this. So be careful. Um, she does have a stand that goes between the legs, so it's not around the waist. And um, here is her gorgeous face. I am loving it so much. It looks so much like Scarlett Johansson. Like I am literally like in disbelief. It looks so good at practically every angle. Like I just, oh my God, oh my God, guys. Like super cool. And she doesn't have that dead stare either. She looks like she's fixated on someone or something, or is just like kind of looking off at some action. It looks amazing. And this is the first time that they've made a uh, Black Widow figure with sculpted hair. I think it looks really, really great. 
um, because it's in a braid. I am one of the few people that like um, rooted hair when it comes to long hair because it has better posability for photos and I'm a huge photographer um, and it just needs to be styled and stuff. That's like the only maintenance that it needs really. But um, I'm really glad that they went sculpted here because um, it would have been really hard to capture um, and really hard to replicate if it got messed up. So as you can see, it's very, very detailed. And uh, you can see that it has a braid down the side, a nice bump in the front, um, and then kind of fish bones, the, or not fish bone, it's regular, but it goes down the uh, side right here. The only complaint is when you like tilt her head, it sticks kind of weird and doesn't lay naturally, but I can see how that would be a little hard to do. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice and flows really well. As for her suit, like I mentioned, it is rubberized, so do be careful with that. Um, it does create creasing when you bend it, so I would not leave her in a creased pose for a long period of time, only for photos. Um, she has a nice zipper, which does not remove. I know some people like to zip it down for some weird ass reason, but um, this one you cannot do because they made it smaller, and when they made the zipper smaller um, to be more proportionate, they just kind of made it as part of the suit. Um, but there's like a little like um, square red parts right here that are really cool. Um, there's nice texturing on it, which is really nice. It goes all the way up and then um, kind of up to the collar, which is really nice. And um, then you can see that she has her belt right here, which is really nicely like textured. It's got like a nice used look kind of like it looks like it's been aged. And then of course the iconic Black Widow logo in the middle in red. And then she has some shoulder pads right here, which are non-removable. Do not try to remove them. They are hard plastic and they are glued on. And her backpack is also permanent too. Do not try and remove that um, or else you will risk breaking it. And then right here you can see that she has her um, cuffs, which are super cool, highly detailed. And they're like a nice red and black. Do be careful slipping um, these on and off. If you were to uh, take these off or remove the hands, you don't want to damage the end of the suit because it is rubber and can break. On the back here, you can see that there's more of the detailing, um, kind of like right down there in this back part, same texturing, and then the back of the belt. And then you can see her holsters right there that kind of swing down. They're like a rubberized plastic, easy flexibility for um, adding in her guns. And, um, she has plastic knee pads, or no, they're um, part of the suit, but they're just a little bit more textured, um, a little bit stiffer. But um, yeah, so those are really nice detail right there. Um, she can has nice posability in her knees as well, which I will try and show in some photos um, at the end of the video. Um, and then these are her shoes, which are really nice. They're just like a nice standard black, but super textured and detailed. Um, my one beef with this figure is that she doesn't have articulated ankles. That would have been a little nicer, but I do like the sleek look of the boot. So it's like you have to either like have the cut off right here and it would not look seamless, or if it does look seamless, um, you just kind of lose some articulation. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. She's amazing regardless. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore her. I think this is literally the best that they've ever done. And I would love to hear your guys' opinions because um, so far I've heard good things besides the few negatives there, here and there. Um, but I'm really excited to pose her up and then just basically show you with all the her accessories right here. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next one. Bye.